Welcome to Revive Media Home. On this channel, we post a divine content that will bless your life spiritually. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you will be notified when we post a new video like this. Thank you all and God bless you. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 4, very quickly. Let me try and see how quick we can run through it. Proverbs 22. The Bible says, By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Did you see that? By humility and the fear of the Lord. Please say, I have the fear of the Lord. Say it as loud as you can. I have the fear of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27, very quickly. Proverbs 10, 27. I just want to read this scripture so that it is registered. One, two, go. The Bible says, The fear of the Lord prolonged days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The fear of the Lord can increase your life. Why don't you go for it? The fear of the Lord prolonged days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 27. Very quickly. The scripture says, the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. So the way to depart from the traps of death is through the fear of the Lord. He says it is the fountain of life. It is, it is a, a particular infrastructure put in place to help you depart from the snares of death. Lastly, very quickly, Psalm 25 verse 14. This is, this is the part I love the most. Psalm 25, verse 14. Everybody, let's read together if you can. One, two, go. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenants. The secret things of God, they are with those who sustain the fear of the Lord. We reign in this kingdom by the levels of secrets available to us. You can see a person so dry, so void of life. All he's transacting with now is knowledge. No, no fresh word from God anymore because he had lost the fear of the Lord. So he cannot assess the secrets of God. A man will go carry tapes, carry books, on Sunday, cut clip from here, cut this Bible verse from here, join you together and say the Holy Ghost revealed to you. And you know by yourself that it's been a long time you heard the whispers of the Spirit. He had left you for long. The secrets of the Lord are with them that fear Him. He makes your heart a storage of His secrets. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's token number two, the wisdom of God. The moment you can interact with the fear of God, you are a candidate of wisdom. Immediately, because the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. It's like saying in Hausa, the, the end of this one is the beginning of the next. Huh? Amen. Hi, how do I explain this now? It's like a perpetual continuum. It's not breaking. You flow from here. At some point, it is no longer fear of the Lord. It has metamorphosed into wisdom. So the zenith of the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Guess what? The Bible says true wisdom is a house built. Not just a house. Your destiny is like a house. That word there is like is a metaphor. Anything is built through wisdom and by understanding it is established. How do you intend to take any headway, make any stride without wisdom? The fear of the Lord will introduce you to wisdom. It's like a spirit holding your hand and carrying you to another spirit and say, this one is faithful, walk with him. So the fear of the Lord will take you to the wisdom of God and say he is qualified to wield the wisdom of the Lord. I already, I already decided in my heart that we will pray maybe for one, one minute 
about any of these things we cover. Wherever you are, take one minute and ask the Lord, put your fear in my heart. Put your fear. Put your fear. Let me tremble before your presence. Show me something about you that will make me tremble. That will make me tremble. He says, the mountains keep like rams. He says, Jordan saw the presence and rode back. Reverence for the presence. Are you asking for the presence of the Lord? Lord, put your fear genuinely in my heart. The fear of the Lord. It prolonged days. The fear of the Lord is riches and honor. The fear of the Lord is deliverance from the snares of death. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Give me you. Everything else can wait. You don't know what you are taking out of the house of God today, that's why. Your life will never remain the same. You will remember this day for long. Give me you. Everything else must wait. Give me you. I hope I'm not too late. 